So, hi everyone. Welcome back. It's been long time. Uh, today we are going to review Beretta PM12S. Okay. So this is a specific model. The famous name is uh, Beretta Model 12. Okay. So this is was used during uh, Vietnam era. Okay. It fired. Uh, it fired nine mill nine millimeter parabellum. Okay. So I'm gonna read some information about this. It was produced in 1959 uh, until now, still produced. It was designed in 1950 to 1959, so nine years in design, and then uh, in service, enter service in 1961 until today. Okay, it was designed by Beretta. What amazing is this is uh, like first submachine gun that licensed by my country. So I'm from Indonesia. Uh, the our uh, defense contractor, like the biggest uh, defense contractor, uh, state owned. Uh, their first submachine gun, I think, was this model. Okay, so it was called in Indonesia is PM one. Okay, so so that's a little bit information about 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 this Beretta M twelve and uh, about me i guess okay so this is italian design okay so one minute and 30 seconds of your life just uh, go like that okay so let's let's begin okay let's begin in single fire but before we begin in single fire as usual we always have to see the reloading mechanism. So this is very similar to uh, HK design, okay? Just like a standard design, I think. Everybody, everybody doing it, okay? It's like it's like the most ergonomic design, which is a thumb. You're using your thumb to uh, press the magazine latch and then uh, pull out the magazine. It's simple. So you use your thumb. You push this magazine latch, and then you pull out the magazine, empty maybe, uh, if you are using it, okay, and then fresh magazine in, just like that, okay, so that's reloading, very simple, so this is carrying a 32 round, okay, maybe I should see the written information so this is this is a uh, beretta usa corp i don't know ckk md and in italy maybe export if you american you can tell me what does it what does what what what's that mean what that mean okay whatever so this is pm beretta model 12 s caliber 9 millimeter parabellum f1945 one okay Okay, so now let's see the firing mechanism. It was SMG design in 1959, uh, 1950 to 1959. So I bet uh, the design is very simple. Not as difficult as MP5. I think that's my opinion. If you don't like it, uh, too bad. Okay, so firing. So as you can see, this is single fire. So let's review the single fire. Maybe I should just uh, let it fire without explaining first. As you can see there, that's single fire. So as you can see, this is probably open bolt. Yes, it is. So there is no hammer. This is like a kind of like a strike fire. Okay. So this is single fire, single fire. Let's review it. Uh, if you want to skip, you I will. I think I will put timestamp on on this video so you can just jump to which part you like. I keep saying I'm gonna put the timestamp, but I'm too lazy. I'm sorry. Okay. So let's review this. Okay. So you pull the trigger, and then this connector go up. 
So the trigger, this connector, we push the sear block articulation, whatever the name is. I think it's sear, sear block body. Okay, sear block. So this part here holding the ball in position. So when you pull the trigger, this disconnector will push up against this sear block body here until it reach a certain point and then and then the disconnect here okay you can see disconnect here then the sear will reset back into position like that so don't be mistaken i think the disconnector never touched the sear block articulation thing it's only manipulate the sear block body here allowing it to move like you pull the trigger it push up over here and then this sear block articulation here go down and then when it being pushed down enough until it the sear disconnect from the disengage from the bolt and then the bolt go forward the bolt go forward i'm sorry the bolt here go forward okay i'm 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 sorry but this is kind of remind me of a, a uzi like uzi a telescopic bolt design i think uh, i'm sorry you're getting uh, sidetrack okay let's go back so the bolt here push the round into the barrel into the chamber and then firing yeah this is remind me of uzi i'm sorry it just remind me of uzi i'm sorry okay so the round in and then we cannot see maybe we can see from here Okay, the firing pin is like the firing pin is separated from the from the bolt. I think in Stan Stan or Sterling between the two British design, the firing pin is like was cut into the bolt, not like a separate piece like this, but like right there, the bolt itself like. The firing pin was cut into it okay so you cannot remove i think we cannot fix the firing pin if you if the firing pin broke then you have to re 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 replace the bolt okay i think i think maybe i'm gonna you can check me on that if i'm wrong tell me in the comment okay okay so so the bolt go forward hitting the primer uh, the bolt carrying the firing pin hitting the primer the round is fired and then the blowback happen because it's open bolt and you use blowback so the bolt being pushed back again okay let's check it is it a blowback like or is it gas assisted I'm gonna I need to check this okay this is blowback not gas assisted at all okay so I'm confident this is a blowback uh, mechanism so when you fire as you can see I'm reviewing the trigger before uh, you just this is single fire okay so you pull the trigger this connector push up this part here until certain point is disengaged, allowing the bolt to go go forward, uh, chambering the round, and then the firing pin hitting the primer, like this, uh, okay, not that, like this, run into the chamber, firing pin hitting the primer, round is fire, blow back happen, the bolt go back, uh, carrying the empty shell, not shell, uh, casing, and then the casing was 
ejected by this ejector here. Okay, so the ejector is separate pieces in this game. I don't know, in real life. So the casing was ejected out. And then the cycle reset. Okay. So this the cycle reset and then the sear and the not this sear this connector reset back into position. So so like this. Watch it carefully. You pull the trigger, this connector push up the sear until certain point is disengaged, allowing the ball to go forward. Chamber around, firing pin hitting the primer, blowback happen, and then the ball being pushed back by the energy. Okay. The 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 casing is ejected. Okay. At this point, the trigger is still being pushed, uh, being pulled. Uh, so you you have not released the trigger yet. At this point. Okay, so it doesn't matter if you release the trigger or not. I think, yeah, I think the animation here uh, is to script it. Okay, there is, uh, there, I think, I think they need to fix this. Like this, the the animation is is to scripted like uh, you can like you cannot simulate a malfunction or something like that okay to make people understand more maybe i should bring that up with the developer if they hear me i'm, I'm nobody but i hope they hear me i'm gonna bring that up with them i hope they give me their precious time okay so let's continue So this is single fire, a simple mechanism. Okay, and then 12 minutes. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm gonna make it a little bit faster. Now let's see full auto. When full auto, what happened? As you can see, the modification happens on the disconnector. Okay, just like that. I'm gonna show you from this angle so you can see it better. Maybe not that forward. You cannot see anything. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, so yeah, uh, so this is full auto. With full auto, basically, uh, I think. I think the. The selector lever here, uh, the, uh, the the way it works, it basically control where the disconnector uh, engage the the sear. Okay, so in single fire, the the disconnector here engage the sear in this po in this in this position, while in full auto. It's going a little bit back, like that. So it engaged over here, as you can see here. So the engage the engagement is a little bit backward. I'm sorry, that's uh, James of Key. Okay. So this is full auto. Let's fire it. Now you see, you see the engagement point. It's going a little bit back here. Why? Why it needs to? Why it need? Why? Why this? Uh, why it need to be that way? Because when you pull the trigger, you're still within the the range that allow you to have the disconnector. To keep engaging the sear block body and not releasing it uh, 
at all while you while you, while you pull the trigger so as long as you pull the trigger the sear will not reset okay because this connector pushing it up like that okay because the disconnector pushing the sear up so it's like a level in my eyes in my eyes it's level okay so that's uh single uh, not single fire that's uh, uh full auto so okay, i'm gonna fire it again so you can see this is very simple you just the sear the selector lever just basically controlling where the disconnector uh, pushing the sear up so uh, i'm gonna show you from this point so as you can see in full auto it engage this back like this back this position this far while in single fire it go forward a bit to this position okay so you just basically just control that i'm sorry so you basically just control the disconnector where it touch the sear that single fire and full auto the difference is simple as that okay now let's see the safety safety is very important because this is a like a, i think a mili many military use it use this uh, uh smg because uh, it's beretta maybe they like it i don't know but many military use it including my country so i'm sorry i'm talking too much here forgot to show you what's important <laughs> okay so basically this is safety here okay i'm new to this so what 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 did what the safety do here okay oh okay 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 the safety there's a double safety here which is the grip safety so this is similar to uzi yep similar to uzi like you have a grip safety you have to grip it grip the hold the grip right so you press this uh, safety here okay so this is safety on a uh, safety on to off okay as you can see when safety off as uh, when safety on and safety on you release the automatic safety or the grip safety here you release it down so now the grip safety uh, holding this here black body here block body not black body sorry okay so as you can see the grip safety engaging the sear block body preventing it from moving so if safety off if safety off the sear block body can move forward to this position while the safety on it cannot move at all it being uh, hold back by the automatic safety or the grip safety okay also uh sorry i'm gonna looking for a good angle here also here the selector lever was being rotated so you rotate it first okay so 
safety on or safety off as you can see you basically select your safety lever here you rotate it into the certain angle to allow the automatic safety to be engaged okay like that so so you have to rotate the selector safety lever first before you can engage the automatic safety or hand grip safety okay like this okay because if you forgot then you cannot uh, engage here okay engage the grip safety here so this is safety off now safety on you just basically release the grip safety or automatic safety release it and then you lock this okay you rotate it so the this pin here this lever here pointing backward then it's safety on you cannot uh, not safety on i think more accurate way to say it is the gun is locked okay so you cannot engage the trigger and the uh, disconnector cannot be engaged the seal cannot be engaged and then the automatic grip safety cannot be engaged because it was locked by this select the selector safety lever here okay 21 minutes i'm sorry this is taking too long so that's safety uh, very very uh, cool design in my opinion well i'm a bit biased because my country used this so i have to love it i'm sorry so uh safety on safety off okay so, so this is safety on safety off safety on you release the grip safety and then lock safety off you unlock first then you hold the grip okay so that's that simple now the folding stock okay i'm gonna slow it down so you can see yeah this is uh, 22 minutes i'm i'm definitely putting timestamp here i'm sorry about that So there is a plunger pin here that will automatically engage the lock into this uh, folding stock or wire stock here. So you can see here. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Okay, how this thing is for? What is the point of this? Okay, falling stock catch. What it catch here? Exactly. Okay. It's going to take times here. Okay. So basically, this falling stock catch here, you press this and then just push the falling stock catch plunger, allowing it to be unlocked. Now it's in position and then you uh, 
uh, uh, set the bad plate into position like that. So, so yeah, the that's the stock. Very cool. Okay, now let's see the how you call it is uh rear side adjust. So you just flip that one hundred meters, two hundred, one hundred, two hundred. Okay, I don't know. This is a uh, American. Uh, Beretta USA Corp, so either that's 100 meters or 100 yards. Uh, you can check me on that, uh, verify that for me. Thank you. And uh, so, yeah, uh, 25 minutes. I'm sorry, 26. Sorry if you think this is a waste of your time, but I like to make video like this to explain it like, I'm learning, you're learning, okay? So I'm not just make a uh, four minute. I try that and then I, I feel like I learn nothing if it's just four minutes and then uh, nobody explaining it, okay? I'm trying, so this is, this is the best thing I can do, which is explaining it, learning with you, and then asking, asking you to verify me or to check me, to correct me in the comment, okay? So... Don't be afraid, comment if you like to comment, you know. So I guess that's it. Uh, if you're interested, like and subscribe. If you have not, after this 27 minutes of uh, video, why you don't like and subscribe? You already spent 27 minutes. And then if you're interested, check out the membership channel. So yeah, uh, let's do a Mac dump. Full out. Falling stock. That's the grip color. I'm sorry. Okay, so that's it. Uh, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Check out my other video. I play other video game. If you're interested, if you're uh, coming back to watch my, all my video, thank you very much. Check another video. For, from my channel not from other channel thank you very much uh yeah bye 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 guys thank you for watching